mom boss mom boss hey my chicas hey my beauties hey my glow queens and hello my glamours it is me it is angela happy friday happy friday everybody i just wanted to come in here and do this video i don't want to say quick because quick has a whole new meaning when i do videos okay but anyway so per the title of this video the burdens of budgeting now I could have made a list, like a five point list, like number one, this, number two, this, and so forth and so forth. But the spirit in me was like, girl, just wing it. Just say it from your heart. How do you really feel about this budgeting world, this budgeting community, this thing called budgeting? Like, what does it mean to us as a community? What does it mean to me as, you know, a person? as just one little entity in this big old sea, you know, of of trying to do right by our families, by ourselves, you know, to ourselves, for ourselves, you know, leaving that legacy, breaking generational curses, all the things, right? So let's dive right into it. First of all, let me just say that there is not a burden in bur in budgeting like that there's not one single negative thing that i can say that budgeting has just not worked for me like i've only been doing it the budgeting thing been in this community since um end of november beginning of december i'm really just going to say december of last year 2023 and here we are 2024 uh, what, January, February, March, April, May 5, I'll just say six months in, right? And all I have done is learned, learned, and learned, y'all. Like, you have to stay coachable, you have to be teachable in, uh, in order for any process or project, whatever the case may be, to work. Like you have to do your part and that's with anything that is just in life. I just happen to be talking about budgeting. So got that out of the way that there is no burden of budgeting, depending on how you are looking at it. And I'm just talking about it from my standpoint, you know, like I said, my pros and my cons, which there aren't any cons. I just said that. So let's move on to the pros. Okay. First of all, just having that new belief in myself that I can save a dollar. I can put some coins to the side. I don't have to spend my last dollar just because it is there. And even when the money is there, does not mean it's there for me to spend. Oh my God. That is a revelation in itself. Do you hear me? That is the revelation. Just because that money is in my bank account does not mean I have to spend it, especially if it's already allocated for, you know, a bill, a gift, an event that's coming up, something that you are supposed to be saving for. It's something for the kids. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. Or just like, leave it alone, right? <laughs> leave the money alone. Um, you know, like we say, we are learning that Dave Ramsey says, every dollar has a job. Every dollar has a home. Honey, leave it there. Leave it at the house. Leave it in the home. Put it to work. Tell it what to do and go on about your business. Go on about your business. So that in itself is like a win-win. Like I felt like or I feel like I am winning or have won the lottery just because of that, uh, what do I want to call it? That revelation that I don't have to spend every dollar just because I may see an extra $5 in my account or, you know, after all the bills or my obligations are met, like, oh my God, I got $10. What shall I do? You shall do nothing. <laughs> You shall, you shall do nothing, honey, but leave that money right there and then let it just add up with the next money that's coming in. Um, and 
that is that. And then, okay, let's go to number two. That was number one. I'm not saying I'm going to remember all these points, bullet points, because I, like I said, I don't have any notes. This is just coming off the cuff. It's coming from my heart. It's coming from my mind. And I have been trying to get to do this video for like a couple of weeks now and just other stuff, you know, you know, life be life. And we all know that famous quote cliche, right? But anyway, so number one was, you know, that revelation for me. You don't have to spend um, every dollar that you have just because you see it is there. The second thing why I know that budgeting is not a burden is because you get to teach others and you get to show others, like you get to show out, you get to show off like, wow, look what I'm doing. Look what I have done. I think I posted or I commented under a post that somebody had commented under my video. Anyway, I was saying that my daughter uh, was just telling me like, mama, you always have money. Like, where you getting this money from? And it was just so eye opening. It was, um, um, it was exhilarating to hear those words come out of another person's mouth like, oh, me? I always have money? What? What? I, okay. I take, I'll take that. So that lets me know that I am doing something right. And she is joining in with me. She is, I would say like maybe 75, 80% all in because if you've been following me, I say that you know, she's coming over and we're going to do some savings challenges. And she, oh my gosh, she enjoys it so much. Um, I think last week we did it and she asked me, she was like, has daddy played these, these, did these challenges with you? And I'm like, no girl, he won't. I've been trying to get him to do them. So hopefully I can get him to just come on board um, and do some of the challenges with me. And then I can record some of them. But honey, we just be so into it like we don't be thinking about no cameras no nothing it's just like our time together so yes the bullet point number two is just being able to um share the information share the knowledge that um you know that i have learned over these past five six months and to know how to now allocate my money um knowing that you know, once that money is allocated toward whatever, you know, I say I'm saving it for that, you know, it should not be touched, you know, unless there is an emergency, which hints that's where the emergency fund comes in. But, you know, we're all, well, not we're all, but some of us, I know I am. I am still on that journey in saving up that one to two thousand dollars you know, for emergency so that you will not have to go into your other monies that you have um, allocated elsewhere, uh, our sinking funds, uh, low priorities, high priorities, what have you. So I'm just wanting to just like, I guess, uh, what's the word I want to say? I am just, um, I feel validated. You know, like I said, when she's, you know, said that, made that statement, like you always have money, which I don't see it that I always have money. But I guess, you know, hindsight is like, you know, God made provisions like what the family, the household needs. You know, I'm just so grateful and highly favored that, you know, I'm able to, you know, pull through and just pull this thing all together. And, you know, hey, just get it done. At the end of the day, I'm just getting it done. So that was bullet point number two. Um, bullet point, point number three, why budgeting is not a burden is because once you have told yourself, it's almost like you've promised yourself something, i.e. save money, put this to the side, this is going to be coming up, blah, blah, blah. You are holding yourself accountable. And I think that has become a lost art because, you know, we'll say we're going to do something. It's almost like a promise that we are breaking to ourselves. And I think that once we see that we are so worthy of not breaking those promises, not only to other people like family members, you know, the kids, grandkids, whoever, but breaking that promise to ourselves is kind of like 
a letdown. Like, oh my gosh, I said I wasn't going to do that. And I said I wasn't going to touch it. So now that I am holding myself more accountable, um, I can pat myself on the back a little bit more. Um, I know how to give myself um, grace. I know how to be more humble. And just know that, you know, everything works out in the end. Just continue doing what I am doing because we all know that, you know, it's easy to be disappointed because we weren't able to save this amount or save that amount or, oh, I'm not going to have enough to put in savings challenges this week or I'm not going to be able to stuff any money this week. And just telling ourselves it's okay. It's okay because... When, you know, when it's all said and done and when the ish hits the fan, we come through. We, we, we catch up on the other side of payday, right? Like whatever our payday is or however our money comes in through businesses or, you know, however, whatever funds we get to um, be able to allocate and, you know, stuff the cash or what have you. Um, it's going to happen. It is going to happen. So that is that bullet point for that you know just being held accountable so um what am i on bullet point i think this should be number four the reason why budgeting is not a burden is because we learn how to well i have i have learned to definitely trust the process and trust God. And I have to because when you rely on other humans, the flesh, nine times out of ten, it's not going to get done. So I rely on God to, you know, give me that nudge. I listen to his still small voice. You know, like he told me, girl, go and get that video done. Don't worry about, you know, writing down. Don't worry about what you got to read off the paper. You know, just speak it. Just say it. And it would be so much more meaningful. So I am hoping that it is absolutely coming off that way. So, yes, I am, you know, definitely, I have been definitely um, trusting God in this process more than I have ever, ever, ever. And I just was like the person that had like all the faith in God. But now that I'm going through this process, it's like, girl, that little faith you had when nothing compared to what you have now, like God is like, he's always on the throne. He's always sitting high, looking low. He sees and he knows everything that we say, do. He knows it before we even say it or even do it. Um, I give him all the accolades. I give God all the glory because I definitely appreciate his blessings come down when my praises go up. So I said all that to say that when the money is not right, when the money is tight, you know, God comes through. He's not coming through on our time, but he is definitely an on time God. Like I have seen it. I have witnessed it. I believe it. I will always believe it. And I am just so thankful and you know i just feel just highly favored on the daily and i'm so appreciative and that's why you know i'm here to say that you know budgeting is not a burden we may all see it different and we may say it is on any given day because the things are not going the way we want them to go so we're like this budgeting thing it ain't working because honey that five dollars that I thought I was going to have, now I don't have it because now I got to allocate it to this or I have to allocate it to that. But that's part of the process. I'm believing that the longer I do this, stay in the game no matter what, never give up. You know, we can take a step back, but just don't stop. It's just like when you own a business, you know, we want to give up because, you know, uh, our workload is slow or, you know, orders are not coming in or, you know, it, it's, it's just a hot mess. And sometimes it's okay if we got to pivot to the right or pivot to the left, or if we're asking God to show us whether or not we need to just be still. You know, his word says, you know, just 
be still and know that he is God and everything else like his word surpasses anything that we could say or anything that we could do that we may think, you know, is helping us along this journey when at the end of the day, it is him. Like he is the one, like I said, that is pushing us along. He is elevating us. You know, if we, if it don't feel like when we're doing it, then we need to maybe just, you know, stop and rethink some things. And then at that moment, then yes, of course, we probably do need to pull out our pad and our pencil or our iPad or whatever it is, whatever instrument or tool that we are using to write stuff down and take notes, then yes, by all means, make those bullet points like, okay, I need to do this because this is not working. Or maybe I should have done this when I did this. And then, you know, maybe that would help get us further along. So, all I want to say just to end this video, because like I said, it's not a quick video, but it is a uh, important video that I have meaning to, been meaning to do for a couple of weeks now. So again, I just appreciate everybody in this community. I have met virtually like the most, uh, the most like fun and uh, invigorating and smart um uh, people in this community like y'all budget us like y'all plays no games okay and i just adore y'all i appreciate you guys i appreciate you guys that um make those freebies beautiful art creative um for us to download and print out because everybody does not have money to um you know shop your shops um not that a lot of people don't want to you know it's like ooh, i i, I I want to support them financially, but I can't. So that's why I love to at least comment on your videos, share your videos. Um, you know, of course, like the videos, two thumbs up, which we all like that um, for our videos when we create content. But yes, this community is like, it's all that and some more, okay? So with all of that being said, like I said, there is no burden in budgeting. There is no burden in budgeting. Okay? So, give me your thoughts. Give me your feedback. Let me know what you feel about, you know, the budgeting community, um, budgeting in general, what it has done, what it is doing, you know, for you, how it is helping you that, you know, you would have never thought months ago, years ago. I mean, when I think back over my life, I think that's a song. When I think back over my life and see the money or the monies that I have, you know, wasted, which at the time, of course, I didn't think it was. I was just doing my thing, right? Like if I wanted this, I got that. If I wanted that, I got that. Uh, but it was a waste, y'all. Now that I'm really, really thinking about it, I'm so much uh, more mature now. And like I said, just listening to, you know, you guys, um, listening to other gurus that know a lot more than I do. You know, I'm just, I'm just so thankful. I, I'm just so glad that, you know, better late than never. I can, you know, look back all I want, but I am in the here and now. And all I can do is do better because now I know better, right? So I am going to leave you with that, you guys. Again, I love you. Happy Friday to you all. Happy May, because I don't even think I've done a video for like a week or so now. So happy May. We are going into spring, then summer. Um, the pollen is out there. So honey, take care of those allergies because I know mine kicks in sometimes. I, then it's time to get the meds and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, happy, happy Friday, y'all. I love you. Bye.